Hello, everyone. Hi, it's me, Tamika Isaacson, your work-life integration strategist and leadership mentor, and founder of the Possibilities Institute, where I work with women leaders and moms to help them discover their leadership possibility, maximize their potential, and live a life that leaves a legacy. And tonight it's day 38. Yay! We are almost there, guys. So this is day 38, 45 to 45. 45 days to better work-life integration. Um, and you might be asking yourself, what is 45 to 45? Well, by now, hopefully all of you know what 45 to 45 is. But every night I still have one or two people who might be new. So just so you know, 45 to 45 is uh, my 45-day challenge to share with you my best work-life integration tips and strategies to help me um, unbalance in my life to be less overwhelmed, to achieve my goals, all that stuff that I do. For those of you who might be new to me and might want to know who I am, hey, April, good to see you. I am, like I said, Tamika Isaac Devine. I am a wife and mom. I'm also a member of Columbia City Council. I'm a practicing attorney. I'm also a public speaker and a certified personal and executive coach. So I wear many hats, and many roles and responsibilities. And the one thing that people always ask me about is, Tamika, how do you do it all? Your wife, your mom, your councilwoman, your lawyer. How do you wear all those hats and juggle it all and seem to be happy when you do it? Um, and so I had to really think about how, hey, Melanie, how do I do it? And uh, what are my tips and strategies? And over the years, I have developed several tips and strategies that help me with that work life integration, work life balance. And so during this work day challenge, I'm sharing those things with you. Now, tonight, I'm not going to. I'll say this, but I'm really not going to stay on too long tonight. I have a raspy, but you can tell <laughs> this change of weather is kind of crazy for me. Um, and I have a, a little one that's a little under the weather. Eddie is nursing him right now. But, you know, he wants mommy, so <laughs> I'm not going to stay away from him too long tonight. And so hopefully I can uh, get him uh, feeling a little bit better before the weekend. Anyway, tonight's tip, day 38, um, I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this is a work-life integration tool that I live by. I work um, a lot, as you, as you know. Um, and so tonight's tip is about technology. Technology can be your friend. I know a lot of us talk about, oh, we've got to unplug. In this day and age, we use our devices too much. And that is true. We do. You've got to unplug sometimes. You've got to have some time for your family. Or your friends just to unplug and not feel like you're attached to this little device all the time. But this little device certainly can be your friend. We all recognize that without it, we'd be lost. If you didn't have this little device, you wouldn't be able to know where your kids are all the time. Um, you wouldn't be able to contact them. Um, there are lots of reasons why this is your friend. But um, one of the biggest things that I think this is your friend is because this little device Technology can be your friend because it can allow you to use um, to integrate your work life a little bit better so that you're not tied to home. You're not tied to a desk. You're not tied to doing one thing or another or you can't travel. And so I just wanted to share with you guys just a, this tip that um, I want you to be wedded to this device, but I do want you to learn how this can be your friend, how you can utilize this device and the things that it can do is this device or this device, your computer, the things that it can do to help you with better work-life integration. So for instance, um, last week I was at a conference. I think I shared that with most of you guys. I was at a conference, missing my babies immensely, especially my little Vincent who, you know, he's nine months now. He's growing by the day. And two or three days away from him, it's like an eternity. Um, and so, um, I don't have an iPhone, so I don't have FaceTime or anything. But I do have a little Android. I love my Android. And with this, I have Google Play. You can do Skype. You can do Zoom. There are lots of different things. And I said this a few weeks before, just I got to reiterate. You can keep in touch with your family through this. So when you're away at a conference or something, you can have FaceTime with them. You can see them. You can see what they're doing. You can interact with them. Just like I'm interacting with you here, you can utilize this technology to connect people on a level that you never connected before. Uh, in addition to with your work, 
if you are want to travel, but you've got clients in another place, or you've got to do something, um, and you don't want to get there, you can actually utilize um, Zoom meetings, Skype meetings, other things like that. Actually, do your work in other places without actually physically having to leave your home or your office. And so, those are great tools, that are great ways that technology can be a friend to you. It can be a tool and help you with work integration. Um, another thing for me is I love using apps to help me as far as my scheduling. I shared with you guys before um, this, uh, well, as far as my to do list app that I use is called Do Is, and it helps me kind of keep my the things that I have to do on the, the computer. Also, my scheduling there are some great apps for calendars that will help me schedule, and it schedules my time with my family, and it helps me um, manage my time a little bit better. Um, and there's also apps on here. Y'all, don't kill me on this one. There are also apps on here who will track your productivity time on your computer. So if you were somebody not saying all of you, but if you're somebody who might tend to go into social media a little bit more, you'll check your Facebook or your Twitter or some other things, kind of as you spend more than enough time, more than or more time than you want on those things, then this app will track uh, track that and it'll give you a productivity rating. And so then that way you know, okay, I'm kind of wasting my time. Let me not track Facebook as much or Twitter as much. But anyway. <laughs> share with you these tips just because it's a good way when you're trying to look for work-life integration and trying to keep things balanced, kind of keep things level, um, but think about how you can utilize technology to help you be home with your family, but also do the work that you need to do at home. Uh, I have this app, Log Me In. If you guys are or work somewhere, you need to get to your office computer from home. You can use, utilize that kind of software, VPN software, to access your work computer. So, like tomorrow, I told y'all I have a little one that's sick. Tomorrow, I'm going to work from home most of the day. And then my husband will work from home the other part of the day. Great work life integration partnership is key. <laughs> and he'll work from home part of the day. I'll work from home part of the day. When I work from home, I'm going to be able to use Log Me In to access my computer at work. So, um, Right, so I just shared tonight with you, and y'all tell me if this is helpful. I see some of you, I see y'all still on watching, but I don't see comments. So tell me if this is helpful, if y'all think this is helpful to you. Uh, and my voice is getting scratchy, so I'm going to have to go. But tell me if this is helpful. Hey, Kimberly Sanders, good to see you. Um, but anyway, I just want you guys to just think about technology. We hear so much about the ills of technology and how we can't be a slave to our phones or slave to technology. But I want you to look at it as in how can technology help me work smarter and then um, this is harder. How can technology help me as far as connecting with my family when I'm not there? How can technology help me do the work that I need at work, even if I'm on vacation or if I'm at home? I'm not saying I'm advocating working on vacation, but if you work for yourself, sometimes you know you got to handle some things when you're on vacation. So I just want you guys to consider. And Melissa, I'm glad she says very helpful. I want you guys just to consider how technology can be your friend, not be a slave to it. Well, please excuse me. <laughs> um, not be a slave to technology in your devices, but how can it help you work smarter? How can it help you use Koozie Calendar? Oh, that is so good. It helps you keep. Yes, yes, it keeps you it keeps you track of your social media time. I was talking about that, with and it's really, really helpful. But I want you guys to think about how you can use technology to work smarter versus harder, how you can help use technology to keep connected with the folks that you need to without being a slave to it. So that's my challenge. Yes, this is very helpful. I didn't know about some of those apps, but I'm glad. I will, and Gwethelyn has some apps. I will I will post some of the apps, guys, that I use. I'll post that here for you guys since I'm not going to stay on too, too long tonight. Um, and then if anybody else has any apps that they think are helpful, please post in the comments so that we can share them. That's the great part about this. We can share this. Do is yes. All one word, though. To do is is one word. Um, and I love it. I love it. And it's a, it's a project management. So, like, my... Um, executive manager, Shayna Boston, I can assign different tasks to her. 
she can i'll see when she checks off that she's completed them so you can actually use that keep your own do list also to keep it for people that you're working together and y'all can see what each other's doing i love it it's perfect um but um yeah busy calendar is great as well um i'm gonna post some things i want you guys to share y'all have the ones that you want can you mention again the one that helps you keep track of social media um okay and the reason i didn't say the name is it's escaping me so i'm gonna post it with one and i'll tag you on it um, but it helps you keep a track of your social media it's on my phone I just gotta find it <clears throat> but um I i'll post it i'll tag you on it and then everybody else can see it as well it'll it'll tell you send you a productivity rating which is fabulous because that way it'll show you if you're spending too much time on social media and you really should be on the computer now if you all work for other people you might not want your bosses to know about it <laughs> but it's, it's good especially if you work for yourself and you want to you want to manage yourself anyway uh so praying for you tonight uh, i know kim well jameson is sick he has a viral infection so he has him right now he's really really sick and so i might be getting sick as well so hopefully i'm not i don't know you know uh if mommy I, i'll take all the sickness as long as my baby will be better but anyway so yeah pray for us tonight and tomorrow so i'm gonna hopefully knock this out and get him taken care of so he can go back to school on on wednesday he had a fever today so i had to pick him had to pick him up from school and you, know, you can't go back to school if you've had a fever so and I will be working from home tomorrow, hanging out. So anyway, but thank you for your prayers, guys. Um, and um, we'll post um, everything that I can. Lemon, honey, and tea. I've got some. I've got some. I'll I won't tell y'all what else I have here. <laughs> Hopefully knock it out. But I'm going to knock it out. I'm, I'm going to Old Fashioned Remedies. I'm going to knock it out tonight. <laughs> but hopefully, um, I'm just worried about him to get him better but the doctor gave him some medicine so we'll we'll all be a good the divine household will be doing divine after tonight i promise so anyway speaking of which that means i will be back tomorrow voice will be better i promise i'll be back tomorrow night at nine o'clock for another tip and then tomorrow night will be one week until we're finished for with our 45 day challenge i'm really excited guys but anyway thank you so much for your prayers well wishes for for uh, for our health and um, <clears throat> and my voice is acting like crazy so I hope y'all can hear me well I will post those apps here you guys if you have some posts um, apps y'all post them as well but until next time I will see you later hey Jay you want to say hey hi <laughs> anyway she's she's living mommy yes thank you <laughs> <laughs> she baked cookies. Anyway, anyway, so she's she wants mommy to feel better too. But anyway, they're saying hi. Um, hi. And I will be back tomorrow night at nine o'clock um, with another work life integration and strategy. And until tomorrow night, I will see you guys well. And yes, I will be better. Emily says hi, Jade. <laughs> hi. Anyway, until tomorrow night, good night and God bless. I'll see you tomorrow night at nine. Thanks.